Hola, Alan here. Welcome to the spoiler tag. Everyone's doing this tag, and uh, I thought I'd uh, steal Brian's thumbnail. I really liked his uh, thumbnail. It reminded me of uh, uh, when I was a kid, and I still like NASCAR, but uh, you know, that uh, Richard Petty and back then, it just reminded me of old school. So, and everyone's doing this tag. And I was tagged by Roz, so uh, the end is in the beginning. Let's go. Hey, y'all. Alan here. Is my uh, hair okay? All right. Now, this I'm going to do the uh, the spoiler tag. It's been going around, and uh, I just uh, um, watched uh, Cena's at Beating Around the Books. Love that ch channel name because it's an ACDC title. And when I watch her channel, sometimes I think she's uh, Australian, but she lives in uh, Germany, so... <laughs> I see you know. Ross tagged me. The lovely, indefinable, um... Always surprising Ross tagged me uh, in this, so let's uh, get to it. it it's a, kind of a ramble tag. You know, there, it's not like... It's more of a tag where you can talk rather than hold up books and this is uh, the, the, we'll see where it takes us. So the first one prompt is, uh, what do you consider a spoiler? And I have a like, little joke, running joke with the uh, fellows at the Codex Cantina, or at least Una. We uh, chat on Boxer sometimes and, uh, you, know, it's like, you know, like the New Testament, the Bible. Uh, don't tell you, the main character dies in the end, right? But I'll tell you about, uh, uh, someone spoiled The Silence of the Lambs for me, uh, the movie, I remember. It's one of those books that I can't remember if I read the book first or saw the movie first. But I've read the book several times. I think it's an uh, American uh, classic novel. Uh, but they spoiled it for me. It said, yeah, he gets away at the end. Spoiled it. Uh, the Exorcist, I mentioned before, my parents, when I was a wee lad, me and my brother, now my parents go out to dinner, they said, now do not watch this on Showtime. Or it was Channel 100 back then, before HBO. The, you know, we had a, uh, the uh, cable box, where you, uh, the illegal cable box. <laughs> I think we had two of them. <laughs> well, I know we had one upstairs and downstairs. Uh, do not watch uh, The Exorcist when we watch it. It scared us for uh, decades. Uh, or The Shining. You know, you pretty much know what's going to happen going into that, but read that book. If anybody thinks they know what The Shining is and haven't read the Stephen King book, The Overlook Hotel, read the book. Did I mention this... Uh, is an original tag by Nell and Scott at Gunpowder Fiction and Plot. And, uh, you know, I'm not the only one, but I'll be, I haven't checked out your channel yet, but I will. I mean, with a title like that. So, prompt two. Does the uh, genre influence it? Uh, that got me thinking about, like, crime fiction. Or serial novels, where you go into it knowing the characters. I go into a uh, James Lee Burke book knowing, you know, you know he's a sober al alcoholic, a homicide de detective with a, a buddy, Cleet Purcell, who's off the, the chain, and, uh, you know, some shit's going to go down. So, uh, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, three. All the best, yeah, I can't read mountain writing, or in the trailer, or all the best uh, bits are in the trailer. Uh, I disagree. I, mean, I agree and disagree. I mean, that's what trailers are for, to, but uh, I don't watch trailers too often. Uh, for uh, something about, like, uh, do you read the introductions to uh, classics? And uh, I'm going to mention Rouse again. We just got off the uh, 
oh man, November, December, June. It was like a three, four month read of uh, Paradise Lost. And just looking at my book, books here, I've got uh, Shakespeare's sonnets open. We're on uh, 41, or I think two like the tricks on 41, 42. I'm also, uh, you know, I've got my Pinsky translation of Inferno. We're going through all the uh, Commedia. But uh, yeah, so do we, you know what's going to happen. You know he's in hell, and you know about the nine circles, whether you've read it or not. It's in your head somewhere. Prompt five. Prompt five. Who spoiled a novel for you? Now I'm going to throw Patrice Jones under the bus because we uh, just buddy read uh, Another Country by James Baldwin. And although I had read it before, I had forgotten a lot about it. I mean, it's a complex novel, a lot of characters in it. And she uh, inadvertently, she didn't mean to, but <clears throat> she finished the book before I did. And spoiled something, and I'm not going to spoil it here for you. So there. Thanks, Patrice. Prompt number six. Have you, have you ever spoiled a novel? for someone and I have in, in fact pretty recently I, uh, last year uh, the newish Robus, Robichaux novel by James Lee Burke I, I mentioned again I spoiled it for my dad I go yeah he relapses in this one and again my dad he said yeah thanks thanks for that but it's not the first time it's happened in a Robichaux novel and it won't be the last, hopefully. He's still alive and kicking. Oh, James Lee Burke. Anyway. Uh, seven. Some authors you can't reread. And here I'm going to mention Roz again because she said, uh, like, rereading sometimes is a, uh, a spoiler fest. And it is, because you know what you're anticipating. She, she used the example of uh, reading Jane Austen. It's one of her favorite authors. And I, you know, I'll pick one of mine, Joyce. Uh, how many times have I read Ulysses? I didn't just put on this shirt, you know, to say that. But, uh, yeah, I know what's going to happen. <laughs> so, and I already showed my classic book, so... That's the tag, and I'm not going to tag anyone. Or I'm just going to tag everyone, because everyone's doing this tag. So, hey, right on to Nell and Scott. Uh, Gunpowder Fiction and Plots, is it? I'm going to go uh, check their channel out right now. All right, ta-ta. Okay, that's better. Maybe we'll get a more, uh, more light in here. Maybe we'll get more um, vocal in here. You know. Um, so this tag is uh, something that people talk about. Raz said, uh, rereading a book is like uh, 